start with John Corrales. Hey, Brad. Um, you're obviously, uh, your front court is obviously a work in progress. You're trying to find different combinations that work. Uh, what went into starting Thompson and what are you seeing from the combinations of Thompson and Kemba and Tyson Kemba? Thompson had a great um, first three games of this trip. You know, he was in a good way and a good rhythm. Keaton's physicality in the past has really given us fits. So that was the decision to go with Thompson as the, as the lone big. This team spaces you out, they spread you out, they move you. Um, and so that was that decision. Um, as far as Kimba and Tristan, as far as a combo, they, they I thought, had done a lot of good things coming off of um, Friday night's game. Tristan had a lot of unselfish screen assists uh, in that game, including some late that really gave us a chance to win. Tonight just wasn't our night shooting the ball. You know, it's, um, I told the team just now I'm more encouraged than discouraged because you're going to have days like this. And when you have a day like that, you got to give yourself a chance to win. Now we've got to become whatever nine points better, ten points better on our on our bad shooting days. But that would have been one that easily could have been worse because of the way we shot the ball, especially from two. Brian Rob. Hey Brad, um, I know the Suns really tough defense, obviously all year long for them. Uh, for you guys, though, uh, as a team, and Ken specifically really seem to struggle just inside the arc with their finishing. Do you look at a lot of just, you know, shot quality from that standpoint in terms of the looks, or is it just, you know, with, when you're down bodies, it's tough to finish against a team like this? I thought early on we, we you know, the shots we were getting were, were really tough. Um, and, you know, I thought when we spread it out a little bit more, we were better. But um, it's hard to get good looks against this defense. Um, the way that they play, not only with their pick and roll bigs, but also with how active everybody is in help and how long everybody is. They do a good job of um, reacting, playing with multiple efforts, making it tough. So, you know, just as I said, I mean, we, we didn't have a very good shooting day. I think that there are things that we would have, you know, on a normal day, maybe we make a few more, but their defense had something to do with that for sure. Um, and you know, they deserve a lot of credit for their defense. Gary Washburn. Hey, Brad. How do you kind of keep Kimba's head up? He was pretty frustrated tonight. He got a tech. And, he just, and, and, you know, things just didn't seem to go his way. In and, shots went in and out. How do you kind of keep him encouraged that it, it, could, it could change? Well, I don't think it's, I mean, it's, it's going to change. There's no doubt. You know, he just came off of you know, a, a good solid game in Golden State, followed by a, a really good game in LA. Like he's played well on this trip, didn't play in the Sacramento game, another game we had a chance to win. Um, I think that, you know, one of the things that you know, we got to do, we'll go back and look at some of his drives and how we can help space the floor for him better. You know, I don't know if he, um, you know, I, I think we all can do a better job for him. And so that's, that's what we all will focus on. Um, that's what I'll, I'll focus on because I know he's going to focus on himself. Final question for coach. We'll go to Chris Ryan. Hey, Brad, uh, two things. Just the, the growth that you've seen from your group defensively and how key was uh, Peyton Pritchard in um, keeping this game competitively third? Yeah, he helped us get back in the game. Um, you know, in, in the late third and then made some big shots there in the fourth that gave us a chance. Credit them. They went down and capitalized on a couple of possessions when they really had to. Um, and, uh, you know, they deserve a lot of credit for that. But Peyton was a big reason why we were able to get back in. But it was, it was his defense that kind of got him jump started. Uh, he wasn't as good in the first quarter, first half, but I thought he was like a totally different guy in the second. That's two games in a row where he's you know, now coming back from the knee where I thought he looked timid at first. You know, we need him to play with that kind of assertiveness and aggressiveness when he checks in the game. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.